Okay, now that we have a mediator being created, uh, when we figure out that it's the view that's getting added to the stage, let's uh, change that so that the mediator is created only if it maps to the view that is being added to the stage, rather than just casting it as the view mediator. So we'll need a few things. We'll need a dictionary uh, to map the view to the view mediator in. We'll need to get the uh, the qualified name of the of the view as a string. Then we'll need to find the definition to get it back to a class. And then using those three tricks combined, we can map a view to view mediator. So that looks a little something like, I'll just do it here. So I'll create a new dictionary. And we'll just call this uh, mediator map. And in our mediator map, we will map view to view mediator. So now with the uh, event target, which will be the, uh, the view that's added, uh, we'll just make this a target, we'll find the fully qualified class name, which is a get qualified class name of the target. Now this is actually going to, um, this will return, uh, since it's not in a package, it'll just return view. So we'll put this into a variable called qualified class name. And from the qualified class name, we will then get the definition from the qualified class name. And this will uh, return, instead of the string view, it'll return the, the class object view. So this will be the definition by name. And then from the definition, uh, we can actually find out whether the mediator map of definition by name um, exists. So if this does exist, that means that something is mapped here. Let me scoot this back over. So if, uh, if this exists, so if this definition by name is this view, then we know that we can actually create that as a mediator. So instead of using um, creating a new view mediator that way, we can actually um, grab this as a variable, call this the mediator class. And from our mediator class, we can actually say new mediator class. And then this will be our mediator. So from our mediator, then we can take the mediator and do view is um, the target. And then the mediator we can call on register. Now this still looks a little bit messy and uh, we can clean it up a bit more, especially this uh, view equals target since, you know, this isn't using a media or interface or anything yet. Uh, we'll clean it up a bit more in the next video uh, we'll, where we'll talk about setting up a kind of a fake little injection framework. Um, but for right now, yeah, just look at the trick here. You'll see that we create a dictionary. We map the view class to the view mediator class. Then from the target, we will get the uh, qualified class name, which will return this uh, view as a string. We'll get the definition. So that'll take the view string and turn it into the actual class uh, view, just like that. And then we will find that in the mediator map. And if that exists, we will find our mediator, uh, view mediator class. And then we will instantiate it and then set the view and then uh, call on register. And just to show that this is still working, I know it's really not creating that uh, anything impressive at all because it's still just showing uh, hello world. But again, this is working through um, create, setting up a view, uh, a mediator map, and you can see that all of our views code is still the same. All of our mediator code is still the same. And now we have a mediator map. Uh, so yeah, the next video will cover a bit more about um, injection, so you won't have to set view equals target directly. Uh, we'll do that through an injector and do an inject into. Uh, see you next time.